Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on an RV Outdoors. Today we are back at Blue Springs Trophy Trout Fishing to do a little bit of trophy trout fishing. This creek gets stocked with rainbow trout, two pounds and up, and some of them are absolute giants. And in today's video, backed by high demand, we are doing another bait review. One of my absolute favorites, and if you've been following the channel for any period of time, you know that I once called it the best bait on the market. And that is the Berkeley Gulp one inch pinch crawler. We've got that night crawler color and that chunky cheese, two ideal little lures for fishing for stock trout and day in and day out they absolutely slay them and in today's video we're going to be tossing around that Fenwick Eagle with some six pound fluorocarbon line spooled up on to that Fluger President. We've already got one of those pinch crawlers rigged up on a 164th ounce trout magnet jig head with a small split shot weight and a float. We're going to be pitching it out there in this long slow section and popping it back underneath the float. Our goal as always is to catch six fish using those pinch crawlers. So let's not waste any time. Let's hop in the creek and let's just see what today has to offer. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and bomb out cast number one. All we're going to do is just simply flip it out there to the other side, pop it back slowly. Slow little brief pops. This lure has tons of scent added right into it, and it really does draw those fish over. It makes a big cloud of scent underneath the water that's invisible to the eye but those fish can pick up on with their senses almost immediately. And all you got to do is pop that thing around so that they can find it. And odds are you're going to get a bobber down. Now you can fish this lure jigging it like we do our NRV baits. You can throw it out there, bounce it back in the current. But in today's video, we're going to be drifting it under a float in this big, long, slow hole. So let's go ahead and cover some water. This spot is a little bit tricky. You've got to start around in here and work your way upstream until you figure out where they're potted up at. They could be anywhere. So we've got tons of casting to do, so let's not waste any time. Let's hop in here and let's see what we can make happen. There we go, fish on right there. Very first fish of today's challenge. Looks like a nice sized rainbow trout, everyone. There we go. Oh, big jump. Beautiful jump right there, wow. See if we can get down on our knees here and slide this little puppy into the net. Oh, another jump right there. Wow. That fish is furious, everyone. Here we go, right on into the net. Didn't take too long to get fish number one of the day. Quick pop loose, slide right on down here. Let that little puppy take right back off out of the net. Take off, little buddy. Gotta get him to get his bearing straight here. There he goes, sliding back into the depths, everyone. Heck yeah. All right, everyone, as oftentimes happens when throwing those gulp alive pinch crawlers, the first fish kick the lure. They're super soft, very pliable, and they tend to rip off the hook pretty quickly, but that's all right. We'll go ahead and grab out another, rig him right back up onto our hook, just like the last one. We'll bomb him out there again. Super long cast to the other side. You're simply going to let that lure kind of fall down, twitch, that float along the surface, see if we can get another one to come over and bite again. 
Didn't take super long to get our very first fish. Maybe 20 minutes of casting. And we had that first bobber down. The way this fishery fishes is it's long and wide, as you can see. And the fish will stage up just about anywhere. So you make a cast, take a few steps, make another cast. To simply repeat that process over and over and over again until you really find where they're grouped up at. We'll make several casts in this area since we managed to get that first one. Let's see if we can't find fish number two. Yep, fish number two right there. Just like we like to see, that didn't take long, maybe three or four casts later. That's the beauty of that pinch crawler. It's super scented. It really does bring those fish over. Berkeley has a way and a formula to just make trout go wild. And this lure is no exception. Just like those doe baits, the power baits and turbo does that so many anglers use nationwide. These lures have the same scent and it is absolutely deadly on stock trout. Wow, that fish is fighting super hard just like the last one see if we can slide down here and scoop it up into the net as well. Oh, not quite ready yet. Wow, fighting super hard here at the bank. Wow, just a digging everyone. Fantastic. Gotta love to see those big trout fight. There we go. Fish number two of our little adventure in the net, everyone. There we go. Hook placement in the exact same spot right there. Let's see if we can't pop that little sugar booger loose. Calm down, buddy, calm down. I'm gonna set you free. There we go. Another quick pop loose, another beautiful rainbow trout. Heck yeah, everyone. Let's go ahead and let this little beauty slide on out of here as well. Take off, little buddy. And I don't know if you guys can see it down there, but our pinch crawler, well, it ripped off again. That's two fish, two baits. Not ideal for keeping those lures on, but a perfect little bait to get them to bite everyone. Heck yeah. Go on ahead and rig up lure number three of today's little adventure. So far, those trout are absolutely loving them. Going ahead and bomb a super long cast over there again. That seven foot Fenwick Eagle really does help get that extended cast. We're able to get all the way over there into the strike zone where those fish are held up at. There was another bite, come back. Oh, he had it. There must be multiple fish over there, everyone, because they are fighting over it. Ooh, had it right there. Got him. Wow, three quick fish. Back to back, everyone. It took us quite a while to find them, but now that we have, they are super simple to catch. They just cannot resist the scent and the look of that gulp alive pinch crawler. We can slide this little puppy into the net as well. Oh, angry. There we go, everyone. Three fish. All out of the same little run. All on that same natural pinch crawler. There we go. Quick pop loose. That's fish number three of our challenge, everyone. Knocking them out quickly. That's the power of those gold products. Took off, little buddy. I want to see you go. There he goes. Back in there, happy and healthy. Heck yeah. Oh, everyone. Pretty interesting. We changed up to that chunky cheese color. And the fish have pretty much stopped. We gave it multiple casts using it. We managed to get one bobber down. And that was pretty much it. No taker scent. So what I would like to try, just for a bit of a comparison, I know a lot of you guys really do enjoy those comparisons. Let's go on ahead and hop into our box here. 
and grab out the unscented creek bug in that natural color just like that night crawler it's a beautiful natural brown color we're going ahead and slide our flow back to where it was there we've got a little bit of slippage during our cast but let's go on ahead and bomb out that natural color in that creek bug and just see if those fish have caught on to our tricks throwing that gulp alive and we'll just see if we can get one of them to take our creek bug yep oh immediately too everyone wow immediate taker right there unreal sometimes it's just about the look that did not take long at all we got that popper to go down for us make a quick follow-up cast just to see what happens here and again our creek bug is completely unscented there's no added sense at all and i mean instantly right there there we go got them fish looking for that brown color flipped in something with a little different look and bam fish on wow that did not take long at all not at all everyone another beautiful rainbow they were just down there waiting to see something a little different they were wising up to our tricks that old creek bug went in and bobbered down there we go another beautiful fish everyone wow pretty awesome little comparison there pretty safe to say they are quite similar as far as effectiveness goes as you noticed right there our creek bug made it all the way to the bank with that beautiful rainbow trout everyone let's let this little puppy slide on out of the net as well kick off little buddy want to see you go happy and healthy there it goes heck yeah everyone that did not take long a little bit of a different look and again no added scent and bam bobber down heck yeah well everyone that creek bug wasn't in there but for a couple seconds and we had a fish on so i'd like to go on ahead and go back to that pinch crawler a lot of you guys know that that creek bug is an absolute fish catching machine if you follow the channel then you already know just how effective that thing can be but today is all about that pinch crawler so let's go on ahead and bomb it back in we'll try to trick ourselves a couple more i'm sure throwing that creek bug we could clean up anything that's left in the area here but i would really like to go on ahead throw around the pinch crawler really showcase it to you guys during today's video and see if we can't complete our six fish challenge throwing it so we'll bomb out a few more casts right here and we'll slowly work our way upstream fan casting all around until we find another group of hungry fish Got him on right there. Another one, everyone. Wow. It's just been one after the other. Probably the smallest one of our little adventure so far. But here at Blue Springs Trout Fishing, they are all whoppers. Wow. Right on into the net he goes, everyone. Heck yeah. That old pinch crawler still doing what it does best. Getting those trout to feed. There we go. Quickly pop that little sugar booger loose. Another pinch crawler fish. And unfortunately, our pinch crawler is missing again. Wow, let's let that little puppy slide right on out of here. There he goes. That's fish number four all on that night crawler pattern pinch crawler heck yeah
There we go. Well, it's been a while since we had our last bite. We stayed persistent. Made several follow-up casts out through here. Managed to get another bobber down. Another beautiful rainbow trout. There we go, everyone. There we go. Another whopper in the net. Heck yeah, everyone. Been a little while since our last bite. I knew that pinch crawler would get us another one. If I just kept it in the water and covered up multiple spots with multiple casts. There we go. One fish away from completing our challenge, everyone. So far, no bites at all on that yellow. I spent a little bit more time casting it around there. Never got the first nibble. Switch back to the night crawler. We managed to get our fifth one. So I think the pattern for today is that more natural color with all that added scent. So we'll keep giving them what they want, everyone. But keep in mind that yellow color, other situations, is the exact opposite. They won't take the natural night crawler, but they love the cheese. So you definitely want to carry both. So let's go on ahead and make a few more casts. See if we can catch ourselves another one. There we go. There we go, everyone. Another beautiful rainbow trout. Here at Blue Springs Trophy Trout Fishing, that pinch crawler is just lights out. Now this one here didn't put up much of a fight. And if I had to guess, I'd say he's been in here for quite a while. It has got some beautiful, beautiful fins on him. Completely flawless. Odds are this guy has called this run home for quite the while. There we go. Quick pop loose. Check out that one, everyone. Beautiful fish number six. And this fish does, in fact, complete our daily challenge. Wow. Take off, buddy. There we go, everyone. Six beautiful rainbow trout in the net. All on those Berkeley Gulp Pinch Crawlers. As you seen, that one right there ripped, but that's okay. Our challenge is complete. I would like to mention, guys, that if you would like to get your hands on those pinch crawlers, I will be giving away one pack of each color to one lucky winner. All you've got to do is be subscribed to this channel. Head down there into the comments, drop a comment. That comment will be your entry for a chance to win. I'll pick one lucky winner to win a pack of that chunky cheese and a pack of that night crawler in that one inch size. So make sure you head down there and do that. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button and drop that comment and get out there if you can, everyone, and do yourself some fishing and have some fun. But most importantly, be safe, tight lines. And remember, try new things because you never know what will be the next best lure. There we go. Got him. Another one. Got him. Amazing. But the bite here today has been second to none in any fishery I have been at in years. Unbelievable what that creek bug can make happen.